everybody. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a quick demo of the new Passive Income Tracker version 2. Uh, this is something that's had a lot of work put into it over the last uh, three, four, five weeks. Uh, really wanted to build something out that was, uh, you know, not really been done in this space and really give everybody an opportunity to track all of their crypto in one place and try and make it as easy on the user experience as possible uh, to be able to do so. So um, I'd like to kind of go through some of the big changes and kind of give you a little bit of a demo of what to expect on the new passive income tracker and kind of how to use it, what's new and and uh, you know everything that we've been working on on the, on the back end. So let's jump right into it. First, once you pick up yourself a copy of the Passive Income Tracker V2, uh, you'll be brought to this welcome screen that gives you the how-to instructions on how to set everything up. I tried to be as detailed as possible in this to make sure that um, you have the ability to kind of go through everything and understand everything and, and all the changes and how everything works. I also created these links that will link to the tabs corresponding tabs within the spreadsheet to make it a little bit easier to navigate through the guide. So hopefully this guide is pretty comprehensive for you and is able to walk you through everything. Um, let's jump right into the demo and uh, start kind of showing off all the new features. As you can see down here on the tabs, all these tabs are completely different, completely overhauled from V1. This is basically a brand new, totally different spreadsheet at this point. Uh, all the features, everything is different. Everything is named different, moved in different places, uh, works differently. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot easier for you to use and a lot easier for you to navigate um, through once uh, you get your hands on it. So. First thing that's new, uh, we've moved off the CoinGecko live prices and moved over to Deck Screener. So let's go ahead and jump into that. We'll click on the Deck Screener live prices tab here. And this is the new live prices for Deck Screener. So the way to go about getting these uh, token prices through Deck Screener is a little bit different than CoinGecko. Instead of getting the end of the URL on CoinGecko, you're going to want to grab the token address uh, for each token. I walked through how to do that in the how-to instructions, but you'll want to get the token address and then you're going to want to put it in this field on the right-hand side here, and then it'll automatically populate the live price. And then you'll want to put the token's name and then the actual protocol's name. A good example of this will be like something like Ethereum. ETH is the uh, ticker and then Ethereum is like the full protocol name. And then obviously you can see its current price here and this is Ethereum's token address. So we've already gone ahead and filled in a lot of projects for you, a lot of popular ones, whether it's nodes or uh, DAOs or just regular tokens. Uh, so this should help cut down your time of having to go find token addresses, but there's gonna be plenty of projects that um, you guys probably are in that we may not have added that you can just add to the list uh, on the bottom here and it'll start populating those token prices. Some of these projects that don't have tokens addresses yet are projects that haven't uh, released yet. So we don't have the token address to input those in, but we put the projects here so that you can just slap in the token address and it'll pull the price for you once the project releases. So that's deck screener live prices and how that'll work. And you'll wanna make sure you have these um, you know, projects loaded in if, uh, if there's ones that aren't already on this list uh, because this will help feed the whole spreadsheet as you use it. So next, let's go ahead and move on to the node section. And this is probably a pretty popular one and an area that everybody's gonna be interested in and wanna be familiar with. So this is the node sheet. Um, this is what it'll look like when you get a copy of it. This is kind of your nodes dashboard. Um, and then below that will be your ledger. And this will be where you'll input all your transactions. Um, and down here at the bottom is going to be where you input every single buy, sell, compound, fees that you paid, anything like that. Um, you know, you'll want to input these here uh, so that you have all the data here. This is also really good uh, for tax purposes because you're going to have a transactional ledger that will go down, you know, for a ton of transactions throughout the year that you'll be able to utilize during the end of year taxes and be able to see all your buys, sells, all that kind of stuff. So. For this demo purpose, I've already gone ahead and put in a handful of projects in here just to kind of show off how it works. So you would put the date that you bought, what the token was that you bought, and then you'll come over here, select the action, buy, sell, was it a fee that you paid, or did you compound? And then over here, you'll put the amount. Just as a heads up for any buys, you're going to want to make sure that they are negative amounts, and then the sells are going to be positive amounts. Uh, if you put the buys and you put them as positive, it's going to screw up all your data. So just remember to do that whenever you do these. Um, 
And then obviously if you compound, you want to put zero dollars here because you didn't pay anything to compound. So if you come compound into another node, you'll want to just put zero dollars here. But let's also add one here and let's say maybe, you know, on one of your transactions, maybe on your Thor cell, you had a AVAX fee and you paid, you know, a dollar forty six in AVAX for that fee. Um, so now going up to the top here, we'll want to feed all this data in. So you're going to want to select the corresponding node projects up top here. So one of the node projects that we had was strong. So we'll add that in another node project was Thor. So we'll add that in. And then the last one was comb. So we will add that in. Now here's just another thing. I added this personally myself on the D app link. You can add the link to the web to, to the corresponding website. This makes it easier for me personally so that I can just click on it and go right into my projects on a day-to-day -day basis while I'm already in this sheet. Um, so that's kind of a nice little thing that you can add. Not, not required. You don't have to fill that in, but if you'd like to, I already pre-filled it for this demo purpose, but uh, yeah, that's, that's the information you can fill in there if you want to drop your links. The other cool thing is if you noticed, whenever you selected these projects, it selected the corresponding network on the left-hand side here, which is which is pretty nice. Uh, so you'll be able to get an idea of what are some of the popular networks that you uh, use the most for your nodes. The only other thing that you're gonna wanna enter in here is your total daily rewards. So this is, you're gonna need to manually know this, um, which you can usually find it pretty easily on your node dashboard. This is the amount that you earn every single day on strong. So let's just say we bought one strong node and we earn 0 0.093 strong every day. And then Thor, let's say we earn 1.02 Thor every day. And then comb, we earn 0 0.40 comb per day. Now you can see uh, everything is fed in on this right-hand side now, uh, which is pretty nice. So right now we have our current daily rewards on strong Thor and comb are here. And these are variable and these will change based off the, the live prices as they update. Uh, this is the amount of money that we spent. This is the rewards we earned. Obviously, since we compounded down here on comb and we haven't sold any comb, uh, we're not going to have any rewards earned yet. And then if you have any fees here paid for any on any of these protocols, um, you can see those listed here. And then here is the amount of money until you fully ROI on these projects. And then based off of your daily rewards rate and how much you've already earned in rewards, it will spit out how many days until you ROI. This number is also variable based off the live price. So what's cool is you'll be able to see this kind of change as the live prices change. If the live prices go up, your days to ROI is gonna go down. Obviously if live prices go down, your days to ROI is gonna go up. And then you have this nice little dashboard over here that kind of gives you an overview of everything, total amount spent, how much you earned, how much until you ROI, your current daily rewards this is how much you're making every single day, and then your total days until you ROI on all of your money, uh, which is nice to get a nice overview of. So that gives you a quick overview of the node sheet. I really love this sheet. It's pretty, pretty awesome, pretty handy um, to be able to use and and uh, work with. Um, one other feature I wanted to add in that you'll see on this sheet and you'll see on other sheets is the manual price override. We obviously noticed that a lot of, you know, times we had issues with people um, with the coin gecko live prices not pulling in or whatnot. So far, deck screener has been fantastic, but on the off chance it doesn't work, we added in a manual price override option, which is really cool. And this is where you can check this box and then you can type in any price here and it'll adjust the total rewards and all that information there. This is also good for forecasting purposes. So let's just say you think strong is gonna to go to $500. Well, you can put $500 in here and then now it changes all of your data. See, your net, now your daily rewards goes to $46 a day instead of 14 and your days of ROI is all the way down to 30 days. So it's pretty cool if you wanna like kind of price predict of the future and just play around with that, you have the ability to override the live prices or for whatever reason, the live prices aren't working, you can manually override them with your own information here, which is pretty cool. And then you can just uncheck this if you want it to go back to live prices. So super handy feature uh, that I really like here that is gonna help a lot of people out. Other handy feature before we move to the other uh, transactions tab is currency conversion. This was probably the number one or one of the number one features that was requested uh, for this spreadsheet. Um, and now you can convert your currency to another currency. To use the currency conversion, you need to unhide 
rows P through U. So right here, you're gonna to wanna to click on this and it's gonna expand the currency conversion rows. And now you can see your money over here in whatever currency you want. If you switch currencies, it's gonna load everything for a second and it'll populate in that currency. Boom, now you're in Canadian currency. Um, and you can go through all these different currencies. We've got quite a few, probably but most of the main ones. If you wanna check your currency in euros, uh, you can look it up here. Like I said, it usually takes just a minute for it to do the calculations. Boom, just spit it out. And now it's got your currency over here. So this is super handy uh, for those of you in other countries that have been asking for something that's not in USD. You can do that here. And then if you are in USD, you can just go Q through V rows here, right click, hide them, and you're back to USD. And then that information is hidden. So a couple of really handy features, big ones that I think a lot of people are going to like on this sheet. Next, let's move over to token transactions. So these will be just be regular transactions that you make. This could be uh, DAOs, this could be just buying coins and holding them, buys and sells of coins, this could be staking, all kinds of stuff that you can play with on this side. So let's just say, you know, I bought Ethereum and it was a buy. I bought five Ethereum and the price was at $2,000. So I just spent $10,000 to buy Ethereum. And then let's say I bought some FTM, bought FTM, I bought 100 FTM, $1.25, um, and there's that. And then uh, let's say we bought a DAO, let's say we bought Ohm, and we did a buy on Ohm, and we bought 100 Ohm at $28. And then let's just say we compounded some Ohm, and you know, today we went ahead and compounded ohm and we received, uh, let's say we've received 10 ohm for our compounding. Now for price, you just want to put in like 001 or something very, very low because you didn't pay for the compound, but you need the number to spit out uh, an actual figure here. So I usually just put 001 because I didn't pay for the compound that I made. Um, let's say we also bought some crow today and we bought 10,000 crow and it was 40 cents. And then let's also say maybe we have a crypto.com card and maybe we made some purchases and we got some crow for free uh, for that. So we compounded and let's say we got 500 crow. Um, again, you'll want to put 001 here. And then let's just say, I know this is a big one. People want a DCA and wanted something to where they could add their averages down in here. So let's just say, you know, we decided, you know what, we're going to buy some more FTM. So we went ahead and bought some more FTM and we bought 50 more FTM and we got it at $1.10. So now we've got all our transactions listed here. And this is where you want to list all your transactions that you made. Then when you come over to the token transaction dashboard, you're going to want to add those projects in. Similar to the nodes, you're going to want to go uh, bought some ETH, bought some FTM, bought some Ohm, bought some Crow. Boom. So now all these projects have loaded in. You can also add the D apps for any of the projects that have them here. And now you can see the amount you invested, the amount of compounding you've done. Um, this bring, this shows you your new average. So this is big for FTM. So a lot of you guys wanted to have a DCA option to where you could add DCA in. So we bought FTM twice and we bought it once at $1.25 and we bought it again at $1.10. Now, when you come over here, it shows your average cost is $1.18 and the current price is $1.22. So you're actually up a couple bucks on this right now. And it shows your current pro profit loss on these. It also includes any compounding or staking rewards and shows those here as well. So super handy. You can also use the currency conversion here. You can open it up, expand it and see that information here as well. So um, just another uh, added feature. You can also do the manual price override here. And then the last thing I wanted to touch on, which is probably my personal favorite feature on this spreadsheet is the main dashboard. So let's go check out the main dashboard. So now, as you can see, since we've added all this information, we've got a nice little dashboard here that gives us an overview of everything. Uh, you can see your token transaction. You can see how much you've invested, how much your current profit loss is, what your total value is if you were to cash out of all these projects, a little breakdown of like, the value and what the percentages of those are. Over here on the node side, you can see how many node projects you are in, how much you've invested, the amount you've earned, what your 
you know, most used network currently is, uh, how much until the ROI, how much you're making every single day, how much until you total ROI on the total investment amount, and then a little scatter plot here that shows how many days left you have to ROI on a couple of these projects. So as you can see, um, looks like strong is the one that we're going to be waiting the longest on to ROI out of these three projects. And then some top performing nodes and top performing tokens page here as well. So that pretty much wraps up the passive income tracker. I am super excited to get this out to everybody and in the hands of everybody. I have been using it for myself for a handful of days now, and it has been fantastic. It's given me kind of opened my eyes to all the projects that I'm in and how much money I'm making and how much longer till I ROI on certain projects. And I think everybody's going to absolutely love it when they get once they get their hands on it. So. If you have any questions for me or anything like that, feel free to hit me up on Twitter. I'll be around and uh, available to answer any questions that you have. Thanks a lot.